Welcome to Electron Online, and here's our first quest. Not ours, because we didn't do it, but Eratotinas did it. And the first quest to figure out the size of the Earth, the Earth. And this was back in the day when most people thought the Earth was flat. If you went too far to the edge, it might fall off. But some Greeks, including Eratotinas, believed that the Earth was round. And he was interested in figuring out how big the Earth was. And he had a very clever idea to figure that out. What he noticed was when they went to the seaport of Alexandria, which is on the Mediterranean coast, this is a big city in Egypt on the, the delta of the Nile, and they looked inside a well on June 21st, which is when the sun is at the highest point above the sky before it begins to sink down again because of the tilt of the earth. Then they looked in the well and they noticed that the angle that the rays of sunshine made going into the well made about an angle of 7 degrees, more like 7.15 degrees, with the vertical. At the same time, he had heard, and he went and, go, went and checked, that when you go to the city of Syene, which is a distance up the Nile River, which is pretty close to where the Aswan Dam is built today, and you looked into a well on June 21st, you would find no shadow at all. The, sun, the sunshine would light up the water at the bottom of the well completely, so that meant that the sun, the sun rays were coming down vertical from the sun directed towards the earth, and there was no angle between the vertical and the sunshine. So he realized that it was an angle of 7.15 degrees between Alexandria and Syene on the earth's surface if the earth was indeed round. He then surmised, of course, that if you go all the way around the earth, you would cover an angle of 360 degrees. So the question was, the ratio of the distance between Alexandria and Syene to the angle 7.15 degrees is equal to distance all the way around the earth to 360 degrees. Let me write that down so it makes a little bit more sense. So the distance from Syene and Alexandria to, between Alexandria and Syene is about 5,000 stades. Stades is the distance that you used back then in Greek days, and it was assumed to be about 185 meters. Now I believe that there is different distances ascribed to a stad, and there were some distances that were less than that, like 167 meters, something like that. But I think the most popular interpretation of the distance one stad was about 105, 185 meters. So what he said was that the ratio of the angle, 7.15 degrees, to the distance between the two cities, which was about 5,000 stades, or stads as they called them, is equal to all the way around the earth, divided by the complete circumference of the earth. So it's simply a ratio between those two quantities. Let's see if I write circumference correctly. There we go. All right. So now all we had to do, or all... Eratotinus had to do was figure out how far it was between Alexandria and Syene. And of course, there had been a lot of travel between those two cities uh, with camel trains, and sure enough, the distance was roughly always known to be about 5,000 studies. Um, so what they did was they took that ratio, and when they calculated the circumference, they said the circumference, circumference was equal to, and of course, that would be 7.15. Uh, no, I'll take that back. The difference would be uh, 360 degrees divided by 7.15 degrees times the distance between those two cities. And when he calculated that, he came up with a distance of 252,000 stades. Now, if we ascribe the distance of 185 meters to that, see here, 252,000 times... 0.185 kilometers, we come up with a distance of 46,640 kilometers, when the actual value for the size of the Earth, the circumference of the Earth, was 40,000. So 40,000 was the actual. But then they said, well, not everybody ascribed the distance of one started to 185 meters, especially in Egypt. They had a different distance, and I'm trying to think of what the distance was, but I think it was somewhere in the neighborhood of 167 meters or so. So if we take 167 times 252,000, we get a distance of 42,000 kilometers. So you can see that he actually wasn't that far off when you think that this was done in a kind of a very primitive way. So Erasotinus had a pretty good idea how big the earth was already more than 2,000 years ago. Now, he lived a long life. He was born in 276 BC. He died in 194. That means he was 82 years old when he died, which is pretty old in those, in those days. But during that time, he came up with amazing things, including 
figuring out the size of the earth. So he knew the earth was round, and he knew pretty well how big the earth was. And the question always is, did Columbus know how big the earth was? Because when he set sail across the Atlantic Ocean, thinking he was sailing to India, if he had known what the rest of Tinus knew, would have done so. Would have told the sailors, oh, it's 12,000 miles of open ocean to get to India. Don't worry, we'll get there. We know the earth is round. Don't know. We're all, that always will be a mystery to figure out if Columbus actually knew how big the world was the way Aristotinus did. Anyway, that was one of the big challenges, and that's how it was overcome. If you like this, stay tuned, and we have some other big challenges for you to figure out how big the moon was, how far the moon was, how big the sun was, and on and on and on. Astronomy, pretty challenging to figure out how far things are.